Alright, this is a video of the, uh, my, my J3 Beaver. <laughs> We're having a fun fly next week, next weekend. And uh, I dressed up my beaver to look like a cub. Dressed it up, painted it yellow. I'm sure it'll fly. I've flown it already. Uh, three cell. It flies really good. Beaver always fly in a nice fashion. No issues with the uh, with the plane. Great flyer. Uh, using a 3S22. And uh, I'm sure it'll look really nice. So the only problem with the Beaver really is the uh, the landing gear, um, very weak. So we'll put this to the test. I called my uh, cub the Indy. And uh, we'll take a snapshot picture of it in flight before it rains here in Dayton, Ohio. All right. Everything looks good. All right, Indy will take off, fly it around, and uh, easy landing. All right. Hopefully you get uh, uh, to view it. All right. Lift off is perfect. Uh, overcast sky. Uh, we'll do a a low low flyby. Perfect. I'm flying uh, in a uh, behind the uh, school area, secondary school here in Bellbrook. So it's a beautiful day, no wind, just before the storm. Storm is coming in from the uh, west, and there it is, the yellow cub beaver. Uh, we'll fly this a few times around, a few laps, a few circles, a few low, low passes. Woo. I uh, added the uh, mix with the uh, elevator and the flaps together so this way it actually glides much better. You know, instead of pitching really high up every time I put the full flaps. Technically you don't need the uh, you know flaps to land this plane. It's actually quite quite soft. It glides really nice. Alright, low pass. Okay, that's good. Well Take it in for a landing. Uh, let's see, the wind's kind of behind me, so we'll approach it from the... Uh... Other side there. Kind of glides right in. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that was an epic landing. <laughs> I thought I had plenty of ground to work with. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm sure the plane survived, <laughs> but that's funny. All right, out. <laughs>